you're quite literally losing your point of view for another point of view. And that other point of view comes with different sensations and different realities and different... And in a sense, if the vibratory state of your chosen, newly chosen point of view, its literal vibration is much higher than your previous chosen point of view, then you have a greater sense of merger with things or environment or you have less of a separate sense, you have less of a lacking sense, a more of an abundant merger, all of this is my own body kind of sense. So you can actually, in that sense, you can start to feel the tree. Even though it's an emptiness projection of energy, you can start to feel the tree vibration, in a sense, outside of just your point of view of it, even though that is still your point of view, it's just a point of view on a much higher vibrational level. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And then, um, <clears throat> is there... Uh, I'm interested in the the oneness consciousness as as the ultimate, you know, if, okay. because we're making an assumption that we're all striving for the merging in which you lose the self and which becoming one, as I understand it from your point of view. Like um, the, that's it's one goal. I don't judge any purpose because or any desire because any desire is the most authentic guidance point from the one to the being. So. If we wish to truly honor the one, we have to honor our desire. And that's again where the mind can take over, take on a teaching, oh, it's all about oneness, it's all about losing the lower self. But then when the mind takes that on and it forgets to honor its intuition, its desire, then it can get lost in its own thought process, it can get lost in its own ego effect. So we need to honor what truly, genu what truly genuinely feels amazing, feels connected, feels most expanded. So if for you, that is something other than losing your lower self in the all that is, then you should honor that. So I have no judgment of what anyone desires. So I won't say there is an ultimate goal. I just say that every goal is equally valid from the one's point of view. And how it communicates that to each of its beings is unique. You have to understand that the one, which is even beyond I am, by the way, underneath the I am is the all that is, and there's infinite levels between the all that is and the I am. So, but I don't have space to draw that. And, and then beyond the all that is, all that is is where creation starts. Everything above this line, everything above this line is creation, is awareness, having an experience of itself. Everything below that line is indescribable, beyond experiencing. It is the infinite source from which all that is comes. Um, so this is, you could draw a black hole here. Or you could say this is the Big Bang. It starts right here. Boom. So you have to understand that the one does not care about it realizing itself because it's beyond it's beyond experience. It is the one. It's infinite. It doesn't care the way we care. And again, that's where a sense of spirituality can become like, oh, I need to realize the one that's the highest, that's the ultimate. The one doesn't give a shit whatsoever, doesn't care whatsoever if you realize the one or not. In a sense, it's inaccurate. There's so many paradoxes. It's hard to talk about. <laughs> um, from one point of view, it doesn't care at all. From another, it completely cares. But let's just take on the point of view that it doesn't care for just a second, just to clarify certain ideas. When we, in this section of ourselves, get all wrapped up in, oh, I need to realize the one, I need to lose all this, we're forgetting that the one generated this for a reason. Not so much to, not so much to be itself, because this is already itself on its own level. It generated this to express itself. It generates this to fill up a hole that wasn't there yet, which is infinity in form or in expression or in experience of itself. It can't experience itself without awareness generating experiences. So it needs awareness, all that is consciousness, and then it needs many agents of the ultimate free agent, all that is, or awareness is the ultimate free agent. The I am is the individuated uh, free agent, which there are infinite of. One of them is you. Congratulations. And you then choose your frequency that then manifests itself as beliefs, emotions, thoughts, and environment, or physicality, or what seems to be physicality, to us, or environment. It can also be non-physical environment, such as in your dream state, still generated by a play of all this. So what is most important, in a sense, to the one, is to express as much as you can. And through expressing as much as you can, you will be completely in alignment with who you truly are, so that when this is all in alignment, in a sense, and this all matches up, then what happens is this. You, as the free agent, can move up 
and down and up and down and go to whatever level you want to. Uh, recognize all of them simultaneously and you have the freedom to play. So by being really in alignment with who you are on an expressionate level or the yang, you automatically realize the yin or you automatically also start activating the, in a sense, energy pathway that goes back to source. So the further, the more confident you move from source in confidence of source, the more you will also realize more of source. Does that make sense? So if you get too wrapped up in the idea from this level of your insistent personality consciousness, from your limited view, you you bypass what feels good and what does not feel good because you think you're smarter than the universe. And you start thinking that, oh, non-duality is what you need to realize. The true one is what you need to realize. For some people, that's a genuine desire at certain moments of their life. I know it is for me. No, it was for me. It still is. So, yes, absolutely, when this feels resonant, ooh, sink all the way back into infinity. Lose yourself as much as you can. Absolutely beautiful. But don't get insistent upon making this some kind of achievement. Because when you do, and you bypass what actually feels in resonance, then um, you're not honoring, you're blocking this whole, you're creating this bottleneck experience, and you're not actually realizing more of it than you could otherwise. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes. So, to wrap up... I like up, you. What else? <laughs> <laughs> so, would you say that the black hole symbolism here yeah. is the... Fr the Big Bang also could be said to be the forgetting in which the uh, one forgets itself out of its... The thing is, it doesn't even know itself, so it can't forget itself. Okay. It can only know itself through you. It can know itself through what it's doing right now. That's why it's doing what it's doing. Because somehow, out of its infinite intelligent potential, like one cannot know itself. Well, why do you say you have to remember, then? Well, it's not even so much remember, it's almost like you're doing it for the first time, although you don't, because on this level you've already many times realized that there's the one and what you are, etc. But on this level, you need to remember what you already realized on this level and then make it active so that you can express more fully. But this, the one does not know itself, by itself. It only knows itself in reflection of awareness. By the very fact that there is presence, that there is awareness, it can start to realize, oh, what's even beyond that? It, awareness can, in a sense, either be reflective of experiences or reflective of infinity. When it turns around, in a sense, when awareness turns around and asks itself, what was there before I was aware? Just keep the idea of what is before consciousness or beyond consciousness in your consciousness and see if you can start to sense a glimpse of endlessness, infinity, foreverness, nothing ever happened, no experience. And then you get a t that you start to get in touch with infinite, by the one.